five quick tips to prepare your 3D model ready to work with Fide for SketchUp. So are you someone that always struggling when it comes to rendering even though you already use Fide and the result is still not there? Hey Ronaldo here and in this video I want to share with you why your rendering still not there on the in terms of the quality even though you already use Fire. So based on my experience when I just get it started on 2008 and I also have the same problem which is my rendering the quality is downright sucks and it's because the rendering is not realistic enough and I found out that lacks lots of detail and after that i trying to figure it out why those kind of things happen and somehow my expectation is wrong so it's actually myself is need to be blamed which is i expect something that the ranger which is the render engine is not going to help with so the, we need to know about the render engine does so the render engine it's only helping you to calculate the GI and the lighting and also the material and having lots of tools that going to push your productivity such as uh, like a Fire proxy for one of the example but the thing is you need to prepare everything really really good or detailed even before you touch the Fire which is the modeling and in this video, I want to share with you today the five quick tips how you can prepare your 3D model so it's ready to work with Fire for SketchUp. So tips number one is your model always need to have thickness. So even though it is a glass, you need to make sure that the glass has some thickness. So I always add like 0 0.5 centimeter or five or around five millimeters to make sure that the glass have a thickness otherwise if it's just one face it's not going to give you a correct result when the lighting like like example like when the sun coming through the windows which is it's not going to give you correct result and the second tips make sure there are no back face on your model so the back face in SketchUp always colored blue which is it's not for coloring purpose it's actually to show that your model is actually back faced so make sure that all of your model always have white color otherwise the back face will give you uh, like a big problem when it comes to rendering the uh, obvious problem that always came is the reflection it's going to give you a full reflect almost like a mirror even though your model the material in that model is have no reflection so that kind of things need to be avoided like the back face again you need to make sure that your model have no back face so tips number three you need to make sure that uh, you need to add a lot of detail on your model as especially when it comes to furniture you know furniture have a lot of detail as like the round corner things and also like the stitches and if you use blanket make sure there are some wrinkles so high poly definitely will give you the detail and it's going to make your image look more realistic the wrinkles you even can use like a normal bump but for bigger uh, wrinkles it's better if you use a model so that is why high poly in furniture is like a must I know it's going to slow down your viewport and going to consume lots of RAM but that's the only way to do it Fire proxy going to help you with the uh, high poly model it, and it's going to fasten up your viewport a little bit so use of the Fire uh, proxy to help you to read to uh, speed up your viewport and the rendering time and tips number four 
always use round corner even though it's just a box cabinet always give like a, a round corner and if there is a wall definitely uh, for like uh, the wall that show on your image just give a little bit round corner if you have to but if it's furniture definitely you need to add the round corner because that's how the furniture works and tips number five mind the gap make sure if you have a cabinet between the between drawer or drawer with the doors there are always a gap in this real life so make sure you also replicate that gap between the door, drawer and also doors they're always like 0 0.3 millimeter uh, 0 0.3 centimeter uh, in gap that's the uh, the default but the as like the standard but it's also depend on the uh, design so make sure your model always have physically correct gap if you have tiles you need to make sure that you also have the growth growth uh, on the tile it's going to give you a lots of uh, detail and makes everything look super realistic okay so those are five tips that you can use to prepare your 3d model so it can ready to work with fide for sketchup so if you love this video and enjoy and brought value to you please like share comment and subscribe to our channel and please tag your friend on the comment below so they can benefit this video just like you. So I will see you on the next video.